I'm Brad Soboleski, one of the emergency department attendings. Let's talk about some key facts surrounding resuscitation that you may see on the pediatric boards. Let's start with airway. The initial maneuver is the head tilt and chin lift. If trauma is present, use jaw thrust. Don't crank the neck. Clear the airway of foreign bodies via back blows and chest thrust for children less than a year of age. For those one to eight, use the Heimlich maneuver. Breathing, remember supplemental oxygen. It's very testable. For infants, use mouth to mouth or nose breathing. For children, pinch the nose and use mouth to mouth breathing, or ideally a pocket mask or bag valve mask. Breaths are delivered slowly over approximately a second. During CPR, avoid excessive ventilation and aim for 10 breaths per minute. For circulation, pulse location. In newborns, you can use the umbilical. For infants, brachial or femoral, and in children, carotid or femoral. Start compressions if the heart rate is less than 60 with poor perfusion. For infants and children under eight years of age, compress at least a third of the depth of the anterior posterior diameter of the chest. Chest compression depth for adults is at least two inches or five centimeters, but not greater than six centimeters. Allow full recoil. Remember the five H's and the four T's. Hypoxemia, hypothermia, hypovolemia, hypoglycemia, and hypo or hyperkalemia. The four T's include tamponon, tension pneumothorax, thrombosis, either pulmonary or coronary, and toxins. Possible causes for bradycardia include the H's and T's, increased intracranial pressure, heart block, ingestions, and cervical spine injury. Bradycardia is a heart rate less than 60 with shock. Remember, lots of normal patients will have heart rates in the 50s, especially fit adolescents. Shock, low BP, altered level of consciousness, and poor perfusion. Start chest compressions for unstable patients. Give epinephrine, which you can repeat every three to five minutes. Atropine is used for increased vagal tone or primary AV block, and consider pacing. Patients with asystole or PEA should get CPR. Give epinephrine every three to five minutes dosed appropriately. Continue CPR for two minutes after drug administration before checking the pulse, and search for the etiology and reversible causes. In pulseless V-fib or V-tac, definitely do CPR and defibrillate with two to four joules per kilo. Remember, a wide rhythm in an unconscious patient needs defibrillation. Resume CPR for two minutes before checking the pulse and rhythm. Give epi every three to five minutes and repeat shocks if ventricular arrhythmia persists. Pattern is CPR shock, CPR drug, shock, and repeat. Consider other drugs, including amiodarone and lidocaine for antiarrhythmia, or magnesium for tau de pont or hypomagnesemia.